Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part four of the lesson on projectiles and in this video I'm going to be looking at uh, finding an unknown u, speed of projection, and unknown theta. Uh, so here we go then, we have particle is projected from point O on a horizontal plane uh, with speed u, meters per second unknown, uh, at an angle of theta to the horizontal. Uh, the range of the particle is 392 meters and it reaches a greatest height of 49 meters. So let's just start with a quick diagram of what we've been given. So we've got a projectile like so. There's the distance along the ground. We'll call this the point O where it's being projected. Um, and we know that we have an initial uh, speed of projection of U, which I'll just draw in there. And we know that the angle of projection is theta. We don't know either of those two things. Uh, we know that the range of the particle is 392, so this distance here along the base is 392 metres. And we know that the greatest height uh, is 49 metres, so the greatest height at this point here is 49 metres. So that's the information that we've been given. Now, what we want to think about here is when we've got two unknowns, we need to make sure that we're calculating at the same point. Um, and the point that I want to calculate at is this point here, because I know that at this point here, the vertical component of velocity will be zero. Now, if I set Vy equals zero, it's going to find me the time at this point here. So I don't want to be using 392. I want to be using half of 392 which is 196 metres, because at the point that the particle's at its greatest height, it will have travelled half the horizontal distance that it's going to travel in total. So the range is the distance from where it's projected uh, to when it then hits the ground again. Half that, it'll be at its greatest height. Right, let's split the screen again. Let's think horizontal and vertical. So horizontally, on the right-hand side, think what do we know? Well, we know that the initial velocity is u cos theta. We don't know either of those things. Uh, we know that the acceleration is zero. We know that the displacement is 196, because remember we're looking at this point in time here. Um, and we don't know anything else horizontally at this stage. Vertically then, we know that the initial velocity vertically is u sine theta. We don't know u, we don't know theta. We know that the acceleration is negative 9.8 because it's due to gravity. We know the displacement is 49 meters. And because we're looking at this point here where the particle is at its greatest height, we know that the velocity in the vertical direction is zero. Okay, so let's have a think about what we can set up horizontally first of all then. Well, we know that the displacement in the horizontal direction is just equal to the horizontal component of velocity multiplied by time. Uh, so what I can do here is I can say that 196 is equal to u cos theta multiplied by t. Can't do anything with that at the moment, too many unknowns, so I'll come back to that later and I'll now look at working vertically. So looking at what we can do vertically then, um, we have u, a, s and v. Um, so if we start off by using v squared equals u squared plus 2as. See, what that, see where that gets us. We know that v is zero. We know that u in the vertical direction is u sine theta. So it's going to be u sine theta squared uh, plus 2as. So two lots are negative 9.8 multiplied by 49, uh, so we can calculate that uh, to get that u sine theta squared is equal to 960.4, and square rooting that, that tells me that u sine theta is 49 root 10 over 5. Beautiful. I'm going to 
I leave it exact and I'm going to put a big red box around it because that is going to be important information for me later on. Right, continuing to work um, vertically then, um, the, another SUVAT equation we could use vertically is we could use V equals U plus AT. Uh, we know that the velocity is zero because it's at its greatest height. Uh, we know the initial velocity vertically is u sine theta, and a is negative 9.8, and t is, uh, we don't know t at the moment. Um, and what we can now do is um, we can rearrange this to say that uh, 9.8t equals u sine theta. Okay. Final one then, vertically, uh, we're going to use s equals ut plus a half at squared. We know the vertical displacement is 49. Uh, u is u sine theta. Uh, plus a half at squared, so minus 4.9 t squared. So, u sine theta, we have here, is equal to 9.8t from our other equation. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to substitute 9.8t in for u sine theta, and that is going to give me 9.8t squared when I multiply it by that t. Minus 4.9t squared, which now means that 49 is equal to 49 t squared, and the t squared is equal to 10, which means that the time is root 10, and that's the time that it's taken to get to the greatest height there, so t equals root 10. So now I've worked out that t equals root 10, I can go back to my horizontal component here, and I now know this as a number. So I can substitute in, I can say 196 is equal to u cos theta multiplied by root 10. And then if I divide by root 10, that is going to give me u cos theta equals the rather beautiful uh, 98 root 10 over 5. Okay, and I'm going to put a red box around that. What do we know about sine and cos? Well, we know that sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. So if I write u sine theta over u cos theta, the u's are going to cancel out, and it's going to give me tan theta is going to be equal to 49 root 10 over 5 over 98 root 10 over 5. So I'm just going to write that as division. So you can either put that in your calculator or you might just be able to see, oh, that's actually quite beautiful because it's a half. So the value of tan theta is a half, which means using my calculator in degrees mode, I can get that theta is 26.56. Uh, so the angle of projection is 26.6 degrees to three significant figures. Okay. As well as being asked for the angle of projection, which is theta, I'm also after the value of u. Uh, but what I can do now is I can substitute into either of my um, expressions here um, to work out the value of u. So if I use the one on the left, u cos theta, uh, so say u cos of 26.565, etc., uh, is equal to 98 root 10 over 5. I've got the value of theta in the calculator here, so I'm just going to cos that, and I'm going to do 98 root 10 over 5 divided by my answer uh, to get that the value of u 
is 69.296, so 69.3 meters per second to three significant figures. So there we go, we found u, we found theta. The key thing is, we wrote down what we needed, or what we knew I should say, and then we put it into all the SUVAT equations to see if it, uh, anything came out that was useful for us. And if you're not sure what to do, that's got to be the strategy. Look at what I've done, I've used pretty much all the SUVATs vertically. I started off using v squared equals u squared plus 2as, I used v equals u plus at, I used s equals ut plus a half at squared, and every one of them was useful. Um, in its own way. Thanks for sticking with it. I'll see you again.